and welcome back to my channel. I know that I have been gone for a week, but I just wanted to come back with this makeup tutorial, and I was inspired by Thanksgiving. I know that a lot of people aren't going to go to Thanksgiving with a, like, super beat face, but, like, obviously I would, so, like, I thought this is for my sisters out there who want to go with, like, a beat face. You can obviously tone it down. Whatever you guys are most comfortable with, I obviously paired it with a nude lip, which I've had this lip for a long time, and I, like, actually love it so much. I think it was... I don't know if it's still available. And this is the Parquet of Princess from Tarte. I am obviously so obsessed with this. It, like, it's got, like, this cooling sensation on my lips, too. I don't know. It feels so good. I'm sorry, guys, that I've been gone for so, so, so long. I have two other videos that I'm going to have up within, like, the next, like, week or so. Um, one is a super personal video, and I was going to put that one up before this one, but I thought Thanksgiving is, like, literally two days away, so I thought, like, why not put up my Thanksgiving makeup tutorial, and then the personal video can come, like, right after that. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support and your sweet words and wishing me a happy birthday on Instagram. If you guys guys didn't know, my birthday was the 19th, and I, yes, I am 22. I feel so old, but what are you going to do? So, without further ado, if you guys do want to see how to achieve this makeup look, then just keep watching. Guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, what we're going to be doing is taking this peach smoothie from Makeup Geek, and we're using that as a transition shade, as per usual, and we're taking it on a MAC 229, and I'm really focusing this on the inner corner, because we're going to be doing a halo eye. We're going to leave the center pretty blank, but I want to make sure that the shadow uh, applied in the inner corner is going to blend out just as nicely as the shadow, shadow in the outer corner and the middle. We just want to make sure it all blends seamlessly, so make sure to apply this everywhere. And then I get pretty rough with this and start blending it up towards my brow bone. So now we're going to be taking the Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill Palette and these two purpley cranberry shades, and I'm going to be taking a MAC 217, and I'm going to be focusing this on the outer corner. As you guys notice, you do have to pack these shadows on, and I'm using a fluffy brush, so it is going to be a little bit dispersed. So I kind of go back and forth, back and forth, kind of building up the saturation. I want this to be super, 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 like, pigmented, as you see from the other eye. So I kind of just take my time, just like you guys should. Just take your time, um, make it as dark or as light as you want, and blend, blend, blend. I mean blend, because you don't want any harsh lines between, like, the dark and the light color and... You just want to make sure that you're taking your time and this is not like a quick two-second thing. So I'm just going to keep going, going, going over and over and over it until I want, um, until it's actually where I want it to be. So now I'm going on the inner corner too and I'm making sure to coat everywhere on my inner corner. So right by the tear duct, all the way up, you want to make sure that um, there's no gaps between anything. And then I'm going really rough here. I mean, if you are doing makeup on a client, you do not want to go that rough. You will start ripping their goddamn skin off, but you know me, I like to blend, 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 so I'm blending until my goddamn hands fall off. And I just like how this brush blends out. It's just so smooth and beautiful. So now we're taking a small brush, pencil brush, and I'm taking those two shades again, and I'm focusing them on the inner corner. This brush just really gets right in this inner corner. The other brush that we were using from MAC was just way too big for it. So now I'm just going to be taking it and blending out what we just put down. I just used the light, um, the smaller brush I used to place the shadow, and now we're going to be blending it out. So now we're going to be taking Cherry Cola, and this is by Makeup Geek, and I'm taking it on that small brush again, and I'm kind of applying it where the two shades meet, so where Peach Smoothie meets the shades from the Morphe Brushes palette. So I just wanted to add a little bit more warmth to this, because it was really purple, and I wanted that reddish-brown purple. Like, that's like the whole look I was going for, because that reminds me so much of Thanksgiving and fall. And I'm really blending this inner corner out, as you guys see right now. I really want to make sure that there's no harsh lines here, because it'll look terrible. Now we're going to be taking Americano, and this is also from Makeup Geek, and I'm taking that same brush, and this is what I'm using just to deepen it up. This is like a deep, muddy brown a little bit. I'm just using this for the depth portion. I'm not using this color-wise. And then we're going to be taking the 217 and blending all of these shades together so they look super seamless. Like, see, guys? That was so easy easy. And now we're going to be taking the roller lash from Benefit, and I'm just going to be applying a generous amount before I apply false lashes. And the reason I do it before is because if you do it after, you're coating the false lashes, and then it gets all, like, gunky, and it just gets disgusting on the false lashes, and it cuts down the time and the wear you get out of them. So I apply it before, and I make sure that they're super black, because I want my lashes not to be able to be seen through, because you know when sometimes when powder gets on them, like, you can see your lashes through? And I've seen that on a couple of people, and it looks absolutely disgusting. 
don't do it. So now we're going to be taking dual lash glue and the lashes, which are from Idlore, and these are my absolute favorite. They're in the style 202, and I don't end up showing you applying them. So now we're going to be taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and Smoothing, and I'm really pushing this into my skin. So I'm pushing this in my T-zone, um, making sure to get all over my cheeks, because that's where my, like, pores are, and my pores are pretty big, so I really want to make sure it smooths them out. I don't want my pores to be seen at all when applying foundation. You guys feel me? Good. So now we're taking the Sephora Tint Infusion Foundation in the number 20, and I'm going to be applying this first with my finger. So I like to drop a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I like to dot it all over. It just makes it so much easier, and it makes me have the control. So if I apply it straight on a brush and I apply it to my face, like once you put the product down, it's going to be harsh there. So I want to make sure that I get an even coverage everywhere. So I'm taking an F80 um, from Sigma and I absolutely love this brush. Like I swear to God, I've fallen back in love with it and it just does the job. So I'm just going to be applying the foundation with this, spreading it out, pressing it. So I'm pressing it into the skin because I don't want to move it around. I just want to make sure that my skin absorbs it to the best of its ability. So, I just think that this brush gets everywhere. So, like, right above my brows, in between my brows. I do have the HD brush, which is, like, shaped in, like, that triangle position. I like it. It's the same brush, but I always gravitate towards this one. So, now we're going to be taking a beauty blender, and I'm doing this just to make sure that I don't get cakey. So, I'm applying this in all the areas where I may get cakey, in between my brows, next to my nose, all over the place. So now we're going to be taking Bare Minerals Bare Skin um, Serum Concealer, and I'm just going to be applying this as my highlight, and I have been in love with this concealer, you guys know. It's beautiful, and it literally reminds me so much of the Urban Decay one. So I think I found my new staple tried it and true concealer. So now we're going to be taking that same beauty blender and blending out our concealer. And I really like to push this into my skin. I like there to be no harsh lines. I like my skin to actually absorb it. I don't want it to rest on top of my skin because that's when you get, like, the cakiness and the buildup of too much product, and that's when it starts to look cakey. So you want to make sure that your skin is absorbing it and it's, actually your skin, it just looks just like your skin. You guys feel me? Like, I don't want you guys to be walking around looking like real cake face because you caking all this shit on like I do because ain't nobody got time for that. Me though, because I got tons of time for that. So now I'm just going to be blending out the rest of the highlight, making sure that it looks seamless and beautiful, and then we're going to be setting it. So I'm just taking the Maybelline uh, translucent powder, and I'm just setting my under eye. So I make sure to press this into the skin, and I love the way that this makes my skin look. I've gotten so many compliments since I started using it. It just kind of, like, absorbs the oil. It makes everything matte. It just makes everything look so smooth. Probably one of the best translucent powders I've ever used. Doesn't leave any, like, white cast or anything, and I don't know. It just keeps me pretty matte throughout the day. It's their, like, shine-proof powder, I think, or whatever, and yeah, uh, my skin has been loving it. So now we're going to be taking the big brush, and we're going to be setting the rest of our face. I don't like, to, I like to do it in separate parts, just because I feel like it's way too hard to, like, set my whole face with the little brush, or set my under eyes with the big brush. You know what I mean? So now we're going to be contouring with Fawn and Java from the Anastasia Original Contour Kit, and I go pretty ham with this contour, but I mean, I love contouring. Like, I like making my cheekbones look sculpted. I like making my cheek cheekbones look a little bit higher and more pronounced. It's just my preference. I know that a lot of people contour that don't need to. I mean, I don't really need to, but I just, I like the way that it looks. So I'm just going to be warming up my forehead and contouring my big ass forehead because once again, my hair is up and uh, that forehead is... Uh, showing. So now we're just going to be contouring the rest of my face and making sure to pop my cheekbones out so we get it as sharp as we can. So now I'm going to be contouring my nose. And I really don't do this much, but late, I, for some reason in this tutorial, I felt like, let's contour my nose because, I mean, why not? We're at it. So I probably should have done it with a smaller brush. Like, it's just a lot easier, but I did it with a, a huge one. So now we're going to be just taking that translucent powder and this brush and just carving out my contour. So I'm just cleaning up the line. I'm not really baking and setting all over. I'm just kind of cleaning up the line and then I let it sit. So now I'm taking Makeup Geek Blush in Spellbound and I'm taking this angled brush right here and I'm just pressing this blush on. I really like this. It's more of like a mauve pink. I know it showed like, it looked like baby doll pink on camera, but it's nowhere near there. And now I'm taking Champagne Pop to uh, make my cheeks glow for the gods. I need some highlight on fleek. And I kind of just go a little bit crazy, and I start packing this on. I mean, I've been loving the Anastasia ones, and I felt like um, I just needed to give some love to Champagne Pop, because it's been 
It's been a hot minute, and this was um my favorite highlight at one point. I mean, still is, but it was like my favorite at one point. So now we're going to be taking it on my nose. I'm going for a really dewy look today. So on my nose and above my brows, because I'm going to go for the gods. Like, who the hell says I can't? So now, what we're going to be doing is combing brow gel through my brows. I don't know, I like to do this after my foundation, just in case any foundation gets on my brows. So now we're going to be smoking out my lower lash line with all the shades that we used in my eyes. So first we're taking that Americano shade mixed with Cherry Cola, and then we're going to take the two purpley shades from the Morphe Brushes Palette, and we're going to be taking that on a 217 and just really buffing it out, um, taking it really far down. Like, I'm really smoking out my lower lash line because I just wanted it to be real smoky and real dramatic and real intense. But I really like this brush for my lower lash line. I feel like it really just blends everything out um, nicely. It is kind of big. I'll give it that. But do you see how that blends out? Like, so nicely. So just take your time with blending out your lower lash line. You don't want to take it too far down, and you don't want to make it look crazy. So now we're going to be taking um, L'Oreal Voluminous Carmen Black Mascara. I think that's what it is. And we're just going to be applying this on my lower lashes, and I love it. It doesn't make my lashes look spidery. It doesn't make them look clumpy. It doesn't make them look disgusting. Like, it makes them actually look beautiful. So now we're going to be just doing the same thing over here, and then on to the lips. And we're taking... Tarte Lipstick in Park Avenue Princess. I'm not sure if they sell this anymore. I got it last year around holiday time, I think, and I really like it. It's just like this perfect nude. It is like a little bit lighter than my um, lips, but it's not like that um, that concealer color. It's just still got that right amount of pink to it, so it's like a beautiful nude. And it's not like a matte shade. I don't know if it claims to be matte, but it is super glossy, and it really does give my lips this like cooling sensation. So I will um, find it if they still make it, and I will leave it down below. And this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving or whatever holidays you guys celebrate. I love you guys, and I will see you guys all in my next one, okay? Mwah! For watching that tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not already the button will be somewhere down there and that is all that I have to say I love you guys so much and have a happy Thanksgiving or whatever holiday you guys celebrate I love you guys so much and I will see you guys on my next one